Hello and welcome to Discover Labyrinths with Lars Hallett. Today we're going to talk about concentric classical labyrinths, um, but in unusual shapes, not just the standard circle. On an earlier YouTube video, I created these three and five circuit concentric classical labyrinths. And an easy way to do this is by using a um, template of uh, three paths surrounding a center uh, and then tracing the design on top. And that way you actually don't have to do any erasing, you know, unless <laughs> you make a mistake. But for example, here we have a square, right? And um, we have a square center, and we have three paths surrounding the square, right? So if I was gonna lay this out even in um, tape on the floor, or uh, even in stones, you could lay out your concentric shape. And then basically what you're gonna do is you need to create an entrance to the center, right? So if our center is here, the entrance to the center needs to be centered on it. So um, in this case, the center is three times the path width, so three path widths wide. So I'm gonna create this entrance to the center, and on one side, it's gonna go two paths of a line, and on the other side, it's gonna go three path widths. And basically, you know, you can start to see that this is creating our entrance to the center of the labyrinth, right? So you might be able to already see that this is gonna be a turn. So actually there's a dot here, and this actually lines up with the edge of the center there, if you're really being precise. And then on the other side, because you have a line of three, and then a line of two, and then a dot, over here, you're gonna have the line of three, you're gonna have a line of two down here, and a dot here, and that basically is going to create your um, three circuit concentric classical square labyrinth. See, and so here our entrance to the center is centered on the middle and our entrance to the labyrinth is, this case, off to the right. Okay, let's try that again with another shape. Here is a hexagon. So I'm gonna take my sheet, I'm gonna lay it over top, right? And if our center, I mean, this could be oriented either way, it could be oriented like this, but let's see what happens if we orient it like this. It's almost a circle. But um, basically I'm gonna center my entrance to the center of the labyrinth, and I'm gonna do it a uh, half path width. And in this case, I'm gonna go all the way down on this side, three paths, and on this side, I'm just gonna go two paths. And then, because that's two, this is gonna be a 180 degree turn. And this is three, so I need another 180 degree turn following a path there. So actually, um, this, again, is our entrance to the center. And here is our entrance to the labyrinth. So there you have it, a three circuit concentric um, hexagon labyrinth. All right. How about a star, All right? This is pretty different. Um, let's see, so we have our center, right? We're just gonna draw in a path centered on the star, and we're gonna draw it down two paths on one side and three paths on the other. On the side where there's two paths, we're gonna put a dot, and on the other side where there's three, we need another line for the entrance to the labyrinth, and then a dot down here. And then basically we connect the lines and we'll have our labyrinth. <laughs> so there you go. It's a little off, but it's all freehand. You can do it more precisely if you take your time. Okay, now how about a five circuit? Well, we could do a square. Okay, let's do a square. Five circuit square. 
So the way the five circuit works works is similar to the three circuit. We're going to draw an entrance to the center and it's going to come down, this time it's going to come down four path widths and five on the other, right? And that is the entrance to the center. Now, there's no 180 degree here turn yet. We actually have to go um, put this in a line of two there and then our dot. So four, two, one. And then over here we have five. So this has to come down four, two, and then one. So we have our entrance to the center and then this is our entrance to the labyrinth. Right? And then you will connect the rest and see our labyrinth. And there you have the five circuit classical concentric square labyrinth. All right, uh, let's try another. Let's see, we got the hexagons again, we got the stars again. Um, I guess we can try, let's do a hexagon and we'll do it um, sideways this time. Do, 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 do. All right, five circuit, here we go. So there's our center. Um, we're gonna put a path to the center that's gonna go um, four paths down on one side and five down on the other, all the way to the exterior. We're gonna put a two um, path line here next to our four and then have a turnaround. And then over here, we're gonna have a, a four path line going all the way to the entrance. Then we're gonna have a two path line now actually, we can draw this a different way. We can draw them, we can draw them going out. It seems like it might look better. So let's try that. Let's try that again. So we're gonna do our entrance. So all these things are adjustable, right? Nothing says you have to draw these lines straight. You know, I was noticing that if I did this, um, it might look a little cooler. And you know, see there's that line there. So I'm gonna go four, here. This is going to create a crazy entrance. And then over here, I'm going to do my two path turnaround. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like. It's kind of fun. So here's the entrance to the center. I mean, our center here, right? And um, that's our pathway to the center. Now, basically, we just have to connect all these lines and see what it looks like. So there is our um, hexagon, concentric, classical, five circuit labyrinth. And I've drawn these lines uh, in a different way, um, kind of spraying them out so that now our entrance is really huge and even more inviting. It gets a little tight you know, right there, but it goes in around. Um, and so you can, you know, feel free to play around with these things. Again, you could, you know, you can curve these things um, instead of having them be square, you know. So there's, there's lots of ways um, to kind of make these a little bit more elegant, you know. I'm just freehanding to show the, uh, you know, the, the possibilities of the basic design. Once you have the basic design, you can kind of create, you know, your own. And so this is an interesting way to, um, you know, let's say you want to create a heart-shaped labyrinth, right? A lot of people want to make heart-shaped labyrinths. The um, uh, easiest way to do that would be to create concentric hearts. Um, And you need either a three or five circuit pattern, right? So there's our three circuit heart, right? So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a path to the entrance of this, path to the center, right? We're gonna bring this down here. Then this is gonna go all the way to the bottom. Then our entrance is gonna be to the right. 
since our entrance to the center is from the left. And then basically we're just going to erase this. And then these are going to be the turnarounds. And this is going to be our entrance. And there is a three circuit classical heart shaped labyrinth. Um, so have fun and experiment, experiment with different shapes. You know, you can do a, a triangular labyrinth. Um, you know, just think about what shape you want your center to be. Right? And then draw your concentric paths. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so center the entrance to the center. This is going to be a left-handed entrance to the center, so it's going to be a right-handed entrance to the labyrinth. All right. Now this is a five circuit, so it needs a two and a turn around here. And then a two and a turn around here. And then in this case, since I didn't use a template, I'm just gonna erase all these. So that's pretty cool. That's like an arrow labyrinth. This labyrinth up. Okay, enjoy, have fun.